48-year-old Howard Raycraft made a surprise guilty plea in court more than a year after he was charged with sending a little boy to hospital. On June 21st, 2022, seven-year-old Ben Dufour was waiting for the school bus with his older brother and their schoolmates. Around 8.30 a.m., the driver of a truck sped through the residential neighborhood in Northwest Regina, hitting parked vehicles, fences, and injuring the little boy standing nearby. Dufour was airlifted to Saskatoon in critical condition. He suffered a skull fracture, broken pelvis, ribs, bruising to his spine, and a broken arm and leg. Miraculously, he survived. On Monday morning, Raycraft pleaded guilty to impaired driving causing bodily harm. Court heard victim impact statements read by Ben's mother, grandmother, and other relatives. They described the little boy as a sports fanatic who was back on the field, but not able to run and throw like he used to. They talked about the horror of the crash and the uncertainty while Ben lay in hospital. And they described the emotional and mental trauma of reliving that day and the days and months after. In the afternoon, Raycraft spoke in court and said he was sorry. The court heard he had three different prescription drugs in his system at the time of the crash. None were his. His lawyer says that he was going through a tough time and took the pills in his suicide attempt. Raycraft told the court that he should have called in sick to work. Instead, he got behind the wheel. A joint sentencing submission was presented by the Crown and Defense. They're calling for a jail sentence of two years less a day in a three-year driving prohibition. The judge will look over that submission. He's expected to hand down a sentence on Tuesday afternoon. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.